Good morning. I just finished reading The Kite Runner by Khalid Hussini. This is going to be a little bit of an unpopular opinion. This book is well loved and was recommended by multiple people to me because it's their favorite book. They were emotionally invested. They were emotionally affected. And not that I wasn't emotionally invested or emotionally affected, but I really didn't enjoy this. I like the story. I like the insight into Afghanistan in the 70s, into the 80s as Russia takes over, and into the 90s when the Taliban takes over. I have enjoyed reading stories about that from Afghanistani's perspective since I read Persephone, the graphic novel series. That part of the book, fabulous. The parts of the book that I really struggled with was the just, I just found this book incredibly depressing. I mean, I realized that this type of trauma and this type of abuse and sadness and heartbreak and all of that, it happens on a regular basis. However, I have a hard time as a reader connecting to characters, specifically Amir, who's the narrator, who have that much internal struggle. And then it was just a lot of negativity all the time with very small pockets of brightness and sunshine. And because of that, I just, I really struggled with it. And don't always need a book to be your sunshine and daisies because I don't. However, I think that sometimes it can be too much. When I read Girls Burn Brighter, that book to me was just trauma for the sake of trauma. I don't think that this book is trauma for the sake of trauma. I do think this book has a lot of unnecessary trauma piled on top of something that is more realistic. And maybe that's just me being naive, wanting things to be happy or or maybe it's because I just finished reading a book that I really loved and I found emotionally effective, The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. Because of that, it affected my ability to read this objectively because I love that so much and I was emotionally affected by that. I found things in that that were very touching and very hard to read. Then I came into this book and this book was a lot of things that were hard to read, a pittance of things that were very touching and life-changing. Maybe it's just the wrong time for this book in my life. However, I will say that it is good. I can see why people love this book. I can see why this book was recommended to me. I'm still gonna give it a four out of five because I think that there's a lot of really good information here and I think that people will read it and love it. It just wasn't the right book for me at this time. It happens that way sometimes. Have a good day, guys.